when I took the multiple intelligence test by the theory of Howard Gardner, the results were always the same. I took the test five years ago and recently. And I am above average in the visual spatial intelligence, musical intelligence, and lastly, the intrapersonal intelligence. If you ever heard of intrapersonal intelligence, I'm going to put the definition here. But to explain to you simply, this is basically high self-awareness. I am above average in self-awareness, which means that I know myself very well. And I see this as a quality because in today's society, it's very easily to be influenced by other people when it comes to your decisions of what you want to do in life. When it comes to your path in life, I believe that your path is unique to you. And I don't understand why most people take advice from others when it comes to themselves. Why are you taking advice from people that are not on your level? Advice about yourself. And why are you taking advice from people who are above your level, but they play a different game? Do you understand me? Only people who have a right to tell you what to do with your life are your psychotherapists, your uh, career counselors, but even them, they can't know you like 100%, especially if you're a closed of person. You can't expect them to read your mind. By the way, if you use therapy 20, if you use the code therapy 20 in the link below at online therapy.com, you will receive 20% discount and you also have financial aids available at checkout. So you can check, check the site out and it's easier to change a therapist if the one that you find is not a good fit. Coming back to our issue, normally everyone has their types of intelligence, everyone has their strengths and qualities, but it doesn't mean that you can't literally develop this type of intelligence if you're just average of, or just under average or just scoring low on that type. Most of you would think that people that love you know what is the best for you or just want the best for you. But even those people, they just want the best for, for themselves. Let's be honest. When you will be very old on the deathbed, you don't want to find yourself in a state of regret because you didn't listen to your heart. You didn't listen to your inner child. You didn't listen to your gut and your inner guidance. We all have that thing in us. We all have our intuition. And even if your intuition is not as developed, as I said, with the intrapersonal intelligence, you can develop those type of those skills every time. In some ways to develop your self-awareness, but of course, I will make separate videos about that, the multiple intelligence theory and how to build your self-awareness, how to increase your self-awareness. But until then, you can try a simple exercise. And this is journaling. I used to journal since I was 30 years old when one of my classmates committed suicide. And I felt like there was something in me that I needed to develop. I knew that I had empathy, but I suppressed this empathy in myself. And I finally found it through journaling. I recommend you to take a paper, take a pen and write all the thoughts that you have right now into your mind, in your mind. Write, write the video that you found. Write about this video, write about the weather, write about your kittens, write about whatever. And do not shame yourself for the thoughts that you have. See, this is the difference between normal and good self-awareness and shameful self-awareness. 
self-awareness that comes from shame, this will not benefit you ever. Self-awareness that comes from objectively knowing all your flaws and your qualities without even putting too much focus on your flaws, this is the right self-awareness that you must have. And because I wanted this video to be short and to the point, if you found this helpful, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Until then, go and journal, watch your thoughts, write your thoughts, and try to not shame yourself for it. See if you can do that and write in the comments how that exercise worked for you. Thank you very much.